Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And the promotion that we've been talking about leading up to in the, in the past couple of days is finally here. Ultimate team of the season. Now, I don't know what you guys are thinking about this team selection. I think it's a little bit subpar. I just feel like they could have done a lot better in terms of just putting players in the team. Now, I know that they want to have a complete team with midfielders, with attackers, with defenders, goalkeepers. I totally understand that. Um, <clears throat> and I think some of the players that are in this team are very warranted and are very good, and I'm glad that they're in here. But I feel like this could have been better. I mean, you just look at the starting 11, and you think for ultimate team of the season, is this really our ultimate tots? And it really, yes, it is. Let's go back to FIFA. I don't know if FIFA 18 has a team of the week saved for ultimate tots. It doesn't look like they do, but I mean... Some of these cards that are in Ultimate Tots, I mean, if you look at some of the other team of the seasons that are out, like, why isn't Neymar in this? Why isn't Neymar out for a second week in this promotion? Um, I feel like Neymar should be a part of this. If we go to the La Liga, I feel like Griezmann should be a part of this. He's not in. Um, you know, maybe not Dembele, not Dembele, but... And maybe in the Bundesliga as well, why is Lewandowski not a part of this? Why is Havers in? Why is Lewandowski not? Um, you know, some of the stuff like that. I feel like, why is Timo Werner not in? And, um, you know, stuff like that. I know they went by, like, highest rating. And they also went by, um, like, what positions they need to fill. But I'm just a little bit disappointed in the player selection. I just wish that they wouldn't have to try to fill a team out. Okay, maybe you have to put in the starting 11 a right back, a left back, a couple center backs, a couple center mids, a right mid. But then on the bench, just stack it with the highest rated players. Like, we don't have a Bamiang, we don't have Sun, we don't have Hazard. Like, people really, really wanted to see those cards in Ultimate Team of the Season, and we thought that we were going to get them, and we're not. It's a little bit disappointing from that standard. Um, but we do have Ronaldo, we do have Messi, we do have Mbappe. So if your goal is to pack one of those cards, we still do have some of those in packs. They're probably going to have upgrade packs this week. But this just kind of, this is explaining how Team of the Season has been. Team of the Season just, it's not where it should be. I mean, this should be the most hype promo of the year, um, especially at the end of the year. They were doing well. The card selection was great for Premier League and for Bundesliga. Card selection was great. But as it went on, it just kind of got stale with the wrong upgrade packs and with some other stuff like that. It just kind of felt, eh, you know? It just kind of felt, eh. And I think they're really worried about FIFA 20 now, so that's not going to change FIFA 19 stuff. And after this week, I think the game is really going to start to slow down. Like, really going to start to slow down. Uh, because after this TOTS, it's all going to be July is basically an entire month of FIFA 20 stuff. We're going to get info on different modes. Um, you know, we've been learning about that. We'll probably have some sort of footies and maybe some promo along maybe some type of summer games. I know there's some international games that are going on right now. Um, countries are playing each other. I forget the name of that cup. But there's a lot of that going on right now. So hopefully that this isn't the end end of the game because we'll still be playing it. But it seems like it's going to be kind of this last week of FIFA. So I basically want to just take a look at the market today. I was able to get full liquid, 15 million coins. That is basically full liquid. I still have a few cards in the club that are tradable. I want to just take a quick sec and look through some of my flips. I just got a lot of stuff out of my club on Thursday before this happened because I was expecting a mad team to be in packs. I was expecting a very big time team to be in packs with a lot of cards. And I thought we we're going to have some more market panic because that is what had happened in years past. But I should, have, I should have known that EA would again put out some lackluster average uh, end to the promo, which is just disappointing. Um, and the car, I, I didn't see a ton of stuff drop down today. I saw some panic earlier in the morning, but a lot of it just rebounded because people realized they saw the team and like, mm, you know, this is just okay. So that's that. Um, these are some of my flips from this weekend. Let me just tell you guys the power of a fresh card. I've been listing this Divac Origi for 89k ever since he came out i got him for like 62k his current price is 50,000 coins but this one was fresh never underestimate the value of a fresh card it sold at 49,000 coins more than its cheapest buy now i wanted to add that little tidbit of information in there other than that flipping was pretty good 
we made some good coins on that, and that's probably some of the last trading that I'm going to do for this year. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wanting to build that end game team, that very final team. You want to know how you can buy those players at the cheapest price and get the best deals on them. Um, and I'm going to be totally honest with you guys and say, basically from here on out, everything is going to go down. Every single week it's going to go down. You're going to see player prices continue to go down. Maybe they'll release a hype footies promo and it's going to maybe rise up a tiny bit and you'll have some a little bit of hype with some players. Uh, but now is a great time to practice trading if you are new to trading, getting into FIFA 20. After this week is going to be a great time for that. But we need to talk more about Ultimate Tots. I'm not going to focus on the summer stuff and what's going on with that. A lot of people are probably going to try to buy their final teams, finish off their teams, this the end of this week now i know you're like well nate that doesn't make sense because there's two months left of the game there's probably going to be some buying that's happening this week just as people completely finish out their teams for ultimate team it's ultimate team this season it's going to bring some sbcs we already got a pretty dope sbc with mares i mean this mares sbc is pretty cool it's a great card a card that has been used a lot in fifa this year he is very you know he fits the meta people like this card but um, you know, we're just kind of in that point of the game where it's slowing down and we have to get to those really top, top tier cards. So that is a decent SBC. We'll see what we get through the rest of this week uh, of ultimate team of the season. Um, I think there are a few SBCs that people want to have, and there's probably going to be obviously some chances to buy cards and panic selling because of that. If you're looking at like if a Pogba would come out, that would maybe hurt the price of some other central midfielders. Like it might hurt it for the price of a Vieira even, of a, um, a Petit, um, and maybe some other special French cards in the game, like a Tots and Dom Bailey. Somebody might swap, swap out a new Pogba for that. That's the kind of SBC that this market would go crazy for. But what I want to do right now is go back to Footbin. And I want to look through some of these team of the seasons and kind of talk with you guys about the differences and prices in some of the stuff. Now, a lot of it obviously is going to continue to trend down. But like Griezmann today, Griezmann is back up to 2.3 million coins. Like he went skying today. Obviously, it's French. Probably some people that are going to link a Griezmann with an Mbappe team of the season and stuff like that. But look what happened after rewards. A bunch, he was about 2 million coins. He went booming up last night. He got very rare. Actually, today, he got very rare. People are buying this card up because he didn't get into Ultimate Tots. What was he on, what was he on Thursday? Again, 2 million coins flat. People see that he doesn't get in, and he gets very rare and rises up 300,000 coins on the market. That is exactly what I would expect from a card like that. Let's go back to this. I want to look at Premier League because a lot of people have been asking me, and I've seen a lot of people that have been curious, Yo, when do I buy Salah? When do I buy Aguero? When do I buy Hazard? Hazard is extinct right now? Are you kidding me? He is extinct on the market. Two points. Oh my gosh. Let's look at let's look at the graph. He was 2.6, 2.7, and look what happens when he doesn't get in. He goes from 2.6. This is an anomaly, but he's back up to 2.9 million coins. Let's just go check his price on the market. This was a perfect example of a card that didn't get into the team of the season that people still want to have in their end game teams and they're not going to have another opportunity to get this card because it's not coming back into packs. And here are finally two hazards up on the market, one for 3.2 and one for 4 million coins. So uh, some of these cards that are very high rated and that are, that are very rare are probably going to maintain their very rare plight price. If you want a, a chance to buy these cards, if you wanted to get hazard, you thought, okay, his price is going to drop this week because he's going to get it in ultimate tots. Look to buy that card in the weekly sell off this week. That would be my best recommendation for you. The only thing that would make him drop is if they release like a left wing Felipe Anderson team of the season SBC card. That would be the only thing that would make him drop. I don't think that SBC would be coming. But even a Salah as well. Even with the Mares SBC coming out today, this card still rebounded and stayed at a high price. He was 1.9 million coins, 1.927. And look what happens. He's back over 2 million in the buyback when people realize that hey this he's not coming out again a couple days before 1.9 mil 1.8 a lot of these team this seasons maintain their price or even rebound a little bit today because now i know 1.8 that's up like 100k for aguero yes he 173 166 and he rebounds right after when people notice that he's not in team this season 
ultimate team this season, which is just crazy, man. Sun, probably the same thing. If you want to buy any of these cards, I know their prices are so high. The market is so very inflated right now. Um, we're just going to have to watch some of this stuff this week because if they do drop big time SBCs for TOTS cards, I still think the market is so very rich right now. And especially this week with weekend league rewards, this is probably the sweatiest weekend league that you're going to see. And I want to talk about one reason why I think EA probably saw what was going to happen here. They, I don't think they realized how many coins people would make from these team of the season rewards. I mean, if we go back to the Premier League team of the season, you guys know these rewards. We've been seeing them for the past couple of weeks. If you remember this team, when it was in packs, if you got top 100, it was almost a guarantee with the ultimate tots pack. It was almost a guaranteed three to four million coins. And some people made five, six, seven, eight. Some people made 10 million coins from that ultimate tots pack because all those players were so expensive. They were so pricey. And, you know, that's just so many coins coming into one person's account. And that's what has really pushed the market up with the weekend league rewards, these tots players being in them. Now, if you look at the ultimate tots, there's still a lot of very high level cards in here. But that's probably why they did it this way. That's probably why they threw in a Bernardo Silva. That's probably why they threw in Kimmich over Lala. That's probably why they put in, you know, a guy like Benzema over Lewandowski, a guy like Quagliarella over Timo Werner, because Timo Werner is 1 million coins. Quagliarella is 300k. They have to kind of mix this up. If they have so many cards in this team that are over a million coins, people would probably make like 7 mil guaranteed. If you, if you have an ultimate team this season pack, if you have this weekend league reward right here and you put these players in those packs, you are making so many coins, ridiculous amount of coins um, from that ultimate TOTS pack. I think EA realized after that first week of Premier League TOTS, we gotta, we gotta cool it down with some of these rewards because there's just so many coins coming onto the market. I think that's why they structured um, this ultimate tots the way it is because there are so many of those cards that are you know very very expensive and that just puts a lot of coins onto the market now they also released a rest of the world tots as well this is very typical of ea they're gonna if you want to see what your awards are, rewards are going to look like this next week here are your rewards <laughs> you're going to get so so many of these cards and your rewards at, at any chance you get you're going to get dabber vanikin vela you know probably a lot of these guys down here and some of these guys are very interesting because you have 88 this 88 rated guy he's cheaper than 88 rated on the market like he was 22k earlier today and 89 rated for 31k crazy cheap and these 85 and 86 rated as well are just very very cheap so this is really a way that ea gets to kind of not they kind of get to mess with the weekend league rewards and you know you're going to see a lot of these guys in your weekend league rewards instead of what you want to see which is the obviously the ultimate tot squad so that's one thing that i want to talk about with that i think ea was very smart with this because they they just don't want all those coins going on in the game because it makes the game easier for people um and for their market that's what they thought the best decision was so Again, for the buy time for these cards, I'm thinking Sunday night's gonna be your best buy time. I know you're taking a risk that an SBC could come out during the week. Maybe they released best of packs like in, in the next week or something like that. That would be a that would be a total EA thing to do. Is if they put these cards in packs, they go out of packs next week and they start a best of, and they put all these other special cards back in packs. That would be a total EA thing to do, to be honest. Let's be honest, guys. That would be a total EA thing to do. Do I think that's going to happen? Not yet. I do think that'll happen at some point. Um, but just to be safe, um, you know, you are taking a little bit of risk. But, you know, this is the end of the game. If you're going to buy I, I'm probably going to buy. I want to show you guys. This is my concept team right here. I'm going to be buying some of these players within the next week. I'm going to be buying Ronaldo, Mbappe, and Neymar. I have gone all FIFA without playing to, oh my gosh, 4-9. That's going to sell pretty quick. That's going to sell pretty quick. I've gone for most of FIFA without playing with like a super jacked up mega team just because of the fact of my conditions. Now I'm in a different place. You guys know I have the ability to play games and it's a lot better gameplay for me. Um, so I have the desire to, to build a team. I have a sick team already, but this team is going to be the best team that I've ever had in a FIFA. 
I'm very excited to use it. Um, and after we do upgrade packs for this ultimate team this season, that's where I'm going to be looking to spend my coins to buy the end game team to find the missing pieces that I want to have that I want to had for the entire year. I'm going to get those in the team. So a lot of people are going to be doing the same thing. I'm thinking Sunday nights are buy time. Of course, as I said before, you're risking the chance that an SBC like a Pogba SBC would come out during the week. And let's say you have Primer Vieira in your your end game team, and you pay six two point two million coins for him. The Pogba SBC comes out, and it's like. 3 million coins for that SPC, this, this card's probably going to drop in price a little bit. But this is the end of the game. Have fun. Hopefully EA allows us to have fun. I really hope that they release all the upgrades again. I have a feeling that they're going to release the same upgrades as they have released before. So we're probably going to get like the 81 plus guaranteed and the lower rated upgrade for each of the main leagues. With that being said, I think a good way to prepare for that would be going out and just buying the rare cards from each league. Stock your club. If you really want to go unassigned, you can go for it. Um, but just go pick up some Premier League gold cards. I mean, they're probably like dirt cheap. They're probably dirt cheap to go pick up some of these these rare golds from the Premier League. Yeah, Willy Bolly, 750 coins right there. Boom. Frazier, 750 coins. You can just go back here and stock your club with these stuff. You know, 750 coins because if they put those SBCs out, um, obviously we'll have to do the math on how many Prem players are in here, how many La Liga, to figure out which ones are the best to do. But we'll be smashing a ton of those packs uh, as well, and that's going to make all of these rare golds rise. So whether you want to make coins or whether you just want to um, prepare yourself to do a lot of SBCs, you can see people are doing this already. The people that are bidding 650 on these cards or 700 on them, um, they're just basically people that are probably going unassigned on these cards and waiting um, for those upgrade SBCs to come. Now that's an, another opportunity that you guys do have since those SBCs are coming. You can get prepared in that way, getting some of those rare gold cards. I think that is, uh, that is a good shout as well. But again, it just kind of feels, nah, you know, it's like five out of 10 is just how it feels to me. And I, and I hate that and I don't like that because when you know something has the potential to be 10 out of 10 and it has the potential to be great, it really sucks to see it just be average or just be okay. Because just like your favorite your favorite football player in real life, an up and coming guy, you really wanna see him perform, you wanna see him evolve, you wanna see him do well, but maybe an injury along the way happens or a bad uh, coaching decision or some kind of influence that changes their career path and it just kind of falls apart from there. And it's just really unfortunate to see something not reach its full potential and that's really what I feel with with this ultimate tots promo so obviously there's a lot of week to go with ultimate tots i'm going to keep my hopes high for that we get some sick sbcs and maybe some more information uh more content inside of the game and hopefully again those upgrade packs will be very nice to hit so if you want to prepare for those um definitely get some of those rare golds if you're looking to buy a team we'll kind of monitor that uh, you know the next couple of days um especially with what could be happening with the market in terms of weekend league sell-off as well. Good luck in the weekend league if you're playing because these rewards are pretty, they're pretty beast um, getting these, the premium tots packs. I, it's premium tots packs um, if you are a top 100 player or whatever. So I'm playing the full weekend league, trying to get 30 wins, get my best ever weekend league rewards. Um, I'm super duper excited for that. Hopefully you guys are going to be doing it as well. This is going to be one of the most sweaty weekend leagues you're ever going to see in your entire lifetime so hopefully you're uh, prepared for that but if you enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out